Okay. It's your, it's your show today. You decide the topic. Oh, I, what, the, what, what got me that, that great, great responsibility? I don't know. Anyways, so the more I think about it and the more I hear about the bailout and the economy and everything going down, I want to get down to what really made things go bad. What did really make things go bad? When gas hit four bucks a gallon. Oh, that's weird because I was doing a lot of driving when gas hit four bucks a gallon. It's those evildoer speculators, right? Did they take the economy down by driving the gas prices up to four dollars a gallon? It it hurt and it hurt bad. It hurt people at the wrong places. And the start of not being able to make your mortgage payments when you're putting all your gas in your tank to get to your job. So, are you saying that people were living right up to the edge and could not afford any additional any additional costs, unforeseen costs? in order to make their mortgage payment. Our, our whole country is based on this idea of cheap gas. Cheap energy. Cheap energy. And when it became uncheap and everything skyrocketed, first it was gas prices, then it was food prices, and then it was stuff at Walmart went up because it's all trucked in, and the whole thing came apart. I'm not going to disagree with you, but most, most people will not make that, that contention that we have that the economy is based on cheap energy with basically all the technology. They confuse technology. In other words, man has advanced his technology with energy. I think they make that real it, big... It takes a lot of energy to make that and to run that. And people forget about those things. And there's more and more people because we want to have more and more people because life is one big pyramid scheme. You have <laughs> to have people underneath... In order for us to be on top of them, to Absolutely. extract their labor and resources in order for us to have a living. You know, back when I was in, I think it was in junior high, one of my classmates was telling me about a professor who asked, which uses more energy, an electric razor or a razor with a blade? And I'm thinking real quick, oh, you know, no problem with that. An electric razor uses more energy. And... You agree with that or not? You know, you could look at that both ways. It depends on on um, the cost of producing that very highly efficient blade that goes across your skin. So is it is it is that the cost of producing it, packaging it, moving it through the economy, selling it, and they they last a week at a time, even though you buy a ten pack or you know, the cost of a razor blade. Way exceeds the cost of the electricity to keep running that electric razor day in and day out. Well, that all, and, and that is kind of an interesting thing. But we don't think about that little razor blade costing very much. But all the process that goes into it and getting it to you and everything else. And that's where we fundamentally are in deep, deep Well, yes, we're in, we're in deep problem because America, while it's, it's striving to have a climate policy and we have a foreign policy... What we don't really have is an energy policy, unlike the Chinese. The Chinese have a very good energy policy. They will take our dollars and go out and buy for their people all the energy that they can get their hands on with our treasury dollars. They, we give them dollars. They go out and buy from Venezuela. They, they are insuring their energy future, whereas we're insuring our energy future by relying on the free market. That Exxon will go out and ensure, ensure that America, and we rely on one other thing, we think we got the biggest gun. I'm not so sure that's a good idea from an energy policy. No, because, I mean, unfortunately, those jet planes, they take a lot of fuel. Those oh. tanks, they take a lot of fuel. The trucks take a lot of fuel. And those long supply lines over to Afghanistan, they take a lot of fuel. Well... My contention is, is we're on the other side of oil, and as we go down the downslope, things are not going to be good, and you're starting to see what that is. Greg says peak oil. That's the peak, key. Peak, peak oil. oil happened somewhere in the, the mid-70s. Thank Well, no. Sorry. Peak oil.